a happy Monday. Welcome to a new week. You're starting in my kitchen cupboard. Um, not going to vlog too much of today because I'm, we're mainly staying home. I'm probably going to stay in that outfit until potentially going to pick James up tonight and having to put some tracksuit bottoms on or something. I might even just put my coat over my pyjamas because it's going to be dark and nobody will see me. I'll just be in the car. We'll see. But today is a day where I'm going to do laundry. I'm going to do a meal plan. I'm going to order the shopping. I'm going to do some work. Not much interesting stuff to vlog and there will be more stuff to vlog later on in the week. Um, today I also need to make appointments for Alfie. We are getting somewhere with a lot of things and I feel very satisfied about that. Um, I haven't talked into too much detail about the situation with Alfie. We don't know exactly yet what's going on with him. Uh, and we have started the whole process to find out what is going on with him so we can get the relevant help at home and in school. Alfie is a little boy who, for sure, what's been so far assessed, he's been seeing the speech therapist since September in school and uh, they also referred him outside of school because he gets it through, it's a Schuster program he goes to and this is the Schuster speech therapist but once he's finished the program in June he won't have access to this girl. So um, she referred him right away to the speech therapist outside of school as well so then whenever, because the waiting list was long, she thought if I refer him now, by the time he's finished with me, uh, there will be no gap before he goes to school and hopefully get a speech therapist through school next year. Uh, and uh, it worked out because I received a letter on Saturday to call, to call them to make an appointment. That, that's, that will be happening in the next few months. So this is one side of thing. We already know that Alfie has a speech and comprehension delay of about one year at the minute. Uh, originally, because he was still young, we kind of assumed a lot of his behavior issues were due to the fact that he couldn't communicate properly. As he's getting older, this should kind of, uh, and he's learning to communicate better, uh, if that was the only issue, we should see an improvement in the other issues he has. He has a lot of sensory issues, um, he, there's a lot of things he cannot cope with, he has a, he, he becomes very, very hyper in phases, uh, he has a massive sleep problem. Uh, there are a lot of things, you know, that are there and I've been in the back of our heads but so far, he was so young, it was very hard to determine what was just age related and what was uh, not normal. I do hate this word, but I just want to simplify it. It's, it's a complicated issue and I want to simplify it as much as possible. So I'm going to use the word normal even though I hate it. I don't believe anyone is normal in the world. I believe everybody has their own quirks and personalities, but this is how society is. So that's what I will use in the vlog for now and I probably one one day when I have enough information and we have answers I will do a big video to explain exactly what's going on. Um, anyway, we all um, we meet regularly with the staff at the school, especially his key worker and the speech therapist there. We've spoken to the health visitor that works with them as well as the health visitor that we have at home. Um, and we all agree on the same thing, that there is something there that needs to be addressed. We need to assess him because uh, he needs more help that we cannot provide because we are not specialized enough. And the only way to get this help is to go through a pediatrics assessment, uh, to assess his behavior and everything to see what they believe it is. Everything seems to point uh, towards ADHD at the minute. But because he's so young, it's very, very hard to determine exactly what it is. So we are going to go as if we have no idea what it is. And they are going to assess him and see if it could be anything else. Um, tomorrow we have the first appointment with the pediatrics team. I'm not going to lie, I'm extremely stressed about it. Uh, even though I am very confident in how I feel about getting him the help, it's never really easy to accept fully that there's something wrong with your child. You know, I don't mean that in a bad way. Um, I love healthy as he is, but um, it is a very challenging issue. So uh, going there and it's just it's because it's the first official step to accepting <laughs> this fully. Um, it's not always easy so uh, and also there's a part of me that's always wondering are they going to take it seriously because it's not something that is obvious when you first meet him and I'm wondering if it doesn't play up there will they believe me luckily I have the backup of the medical people who have seen him before and from school 
so have I, and they specialize in that so you know they should know that sometimes the child will not show everything when you go to the appointment so think I'm, I'm sure it will go well and i'm sure once i'm out of there i will think oh that was fine and all that and uh, but yeah for now yeah so this is what's happening tomorrow good morning and happy tuesday uh today is sponsored by anxiety <laughs> so, <laughs> i'm a, an anxious mess right now um because <clears throat> the um, two two driver songs in the background actually is playing there uh, but he's playing really nicely the living room is a bomb site but i don't really care i'll tidy it up later because if i tidy up now in about half an hour it will be like that again and i'll have to do it again and again and again so for now it will just have to stay like that at one half one this afternoon we have alfie's uh pediatrics appointment which is a very important one and it's making me very stressed out um i can't tell you exactly why um i think it's because i don't know what to expect and i'm hoping that it will be one of those appointments when i come out and i tell you oh i don't know what i was worried about it went brilliant and they're going to help us and all that this is what i'm hoping for um it's, this is the most likely scenario anyway these people are there to help they are used to deal with those kind of things so anyway we'll see and then i'm just very stressed about this week overall there is a lot going on and um it's a lot of stuff that are at a set time and this is something which uh, for me is very anxiety inducing for two reasons first reason is that uh, because of my bowel condition uh, at the last minute my belly can go insane and being on time somewhere uh, can really put a lot of stress onto me and the second reason is that getting on time to places with Alfie if he has a meltdown or anything like that is extremely difficult so it adds to the pressure when you combine the two together it adds even more pressure so right now this week because there's so many appointments at certain times it stresses me out but I'll get through it I'm hoping that once tomorrow lunchtime comes the main appointments where both Alfie and I need to be there will be done so then hopefully it will be a lot easier James is off tomorrow because he has appointments too this week is just so busy it's just so busy it's now almost half nine in the evening and I had a very busy day <laughs> much busier than I thought um, so as I said before the appointment went well I don't know what I was worried about <laughs> but it lasted almost two hours it was a very long appointment very thorough she took everything very seriously uh, and she put into place more than I hoped for <laughs> so I'm very pleased um, I, I don't I can't really go too much into detail because I don't know too much into detail what's happening so I'm going to sum up to for you what we know um, Alfie is considered to have ASD, which is Autism Spectrum Disorder and he is a quite a general term, uh, he needs to be assessed to get a more precise diagnosis. This might take a few years, we don't know exactly how much. Um, then he, uh, for the ADHD part, which we suspect, it's too early to say, so um, it's Gonna, it could take up till when he's five to know if he's or not. We it's hard to diagnose before that. He was referred to um, a team of specialists who are dealing with uh, assessing all this, and he was referred to the educational side of thing that I wanted as well to be able to get the help in school. He was referred for a lot of things, so all the help we can have access to, he's been referred for. So I feel very satisfied about that, which is good. Yeah, now I need. I ordered in the shopping some Oreo double stuff <laughs> in preparation for tonight because I thought I might need it, and I'm glad I have them. I don't. Uh, I'm. I'm. Yeah, I'm wrecked because it's. I've been really hit by uh, a massive load of information, but it's all good. I just need to process everything. So I am gonna stop the vlogging for for the day and start again tomorrow or the day after, depending. How long it takes me to process this good morning and happy wednesday we have a monkey in a basket do you want to say hello yeah. <laughs> hello alfie <laughs> he 
<laughs> what are you watching? No. What are you watching? What is that? The car? You watching the car? He's watching this, which is a thing on Amazon Prime called something the tow truck or something like that. I find it absolutely rubbish. But give him that in the basket to sit in, and he's happy. I'm gonna go now and bring James to an appointment and then at 11 we have the dentist for the boys. Uh, James in, ended up taking the day off because he has this appointment this morning and then he was meant to come back earlier tonight so I could bring Owen to the Oprah house. So he, it was easier for him to take the day off because his work is too far away to go back and forth. Uh, so we're gonna go to the appointment now and then come back home for a bit and then we'll all meet at the dentist. And then come back home, I'm going to work all afternoon, and then tonight I'm going to see, um, what is it called again? Something in the Oprah Charges, house. Charges Marvelous oh, yes. Medicine with Owen in the Oprah House. I'm still half asleep. But uh, yeah, there won't be much vlogging today because it's all stuff I can't really vlog. But yeah, do you want to say bye bye? <laughs> say bye bye. Can you say it? Can you talk? Say bye bye. 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 Good boy. Oh. Hello, it is actually now Sunday night and um, <clears throat> I didn't vlog the rest of the week because a lot happened this week and um, <clears throat> I needed to process things to be able to explain exactly everything. It's It's been a lot to take in. Yesterday uh, we received the full report written, it's several pages of <laughs> all the issues he has compiled in letter and I was actually okay until I read the whole thing and I went through it. Uh, this is the whole thing I have to sign off before it's being sent to the autism team. And I was going through everything and it's different, it's very different when you live you live with it every day and you deal with it uh, in certain ways. You never get all the aspects all in one go, it's kind of scattered throughout the day. When you have a paper uh, listing through various pages, all those aspects of things, it really hurts. <laughs> it's very hard to, it's tough to read, um, but uh, it's something I'm going to have to get used to because this is going to happen very regularly from now on. But there's a part of me that knows that I was right to push for him seeing these doctors, I was right to trust my gut instinct that there was something not right because they everybody confirmed it and I feel happy now that this has happened and now we just the help is coming uh, is not going to be I'm, I, I'm glad I didn't wait and I trusted my instinct I didn't wait for next year when he's in school because that's usually when they get um, diagnosed and all uh, yeah so yesterday the whole weekend with James we didn't have the boys they were at their grannies and yesterday we went to the cinema we went shopping it was all nice and then we came home and I started to fill in those questionnaires and it was, it just really hit me properly. And I decided, um, I know I'm strong enough to go through this, it's more, I call it di digesting the situation, that's kind of a literal translation of what you would say in French, but can kind of processing maybe the best way to say it in English. Um, and I didn't feel like vlogging because I just... I just had too much in my head and I didn't feel in the right space t about that. I'll talk about more about the vlogging over the next few weeks whenever I'm finished talking about this. Um, and I decided now I have a choice between feeling sorry for ourselves, I mean we've gone through a lot the last few years and there's still some hurdles along the way now, but um, I want to do everything I can to help him and it's not if I, by feeling sorry for myself it's going to work. So. I need to put things into place so I can quickly get a mental break. That's one of the things the pediatrician ex like insisted on. She said to me, you are having a very tough time with the whole thing and you're the one who's there with him all the time. You really need to find ways to get a break during the day, even five minutes um, here and there, just to get to clear your head and to be able to cope because she said otherwise at some point it's going to get too much 
and it's gonna be very tough to deal with so I'm very glad she said that and it pushed me to do something I've been actually wanting to do for a while and I just never found the time and then I thought I need to make the time it's becoming urgent I have always wanted to have an art journal that I can use to as a creative outlet whichever way I can and on Tuesday the first thing I did when I came home after the appointment and she told me that I bought a notebook sorry I'm going blurry bought a notebook and I started to use it um, and yesterday when I was feeling so bad it has helped me so so much so I'm really glad I'm doing it and it made me take the decision that I need to stop uh, not doing things for myself because I don't have time because I prioritize everything else because at the end of the day if I'm not in a shape to do all these things anymore they're not going to happen so I need to make sure that along the way I take care of myself too because I need to be healthy mentally and physically to be able to help Alfie and to help James if he needs to <laughs> to help Owen um, I have a lot on my shoulders in our house but uh, I know I'm strong enough to do this I just need to just take care of myself too <laughs> basically that's what it is and it has given me a lot of motivation to start this um, and I've also done something I've been wanting to do for ages I want to do like a scrapbook kind of thing and I want to do like at the end of every month do go through the highlights of the month and scrapbook about that and I still had it on January so today I printed all the pictures for January and I'm going to do that tonight in front of the TV which it took, we took time with James to just switch off stay away from Facebook phones and everything and just spend time together quality time together we watched a show we've been meaning to watch for ages and we never took the time to which is enjoyed quality time together because we really needed to um it's very easy during the week to not make time everything is a rush and then at the weekend there's usually stuff going on and we don't take the time we don't make time for just the two of us and it's important too uh and it's going to be something that's going to be important for the next few years um the whole process of getting Alfie fully assessed can take several years we don't really know how long um it's depending i guess how how easily they can spot things and i'm not too sure exactly of everything it's kind of um of a lot of it is unknown but uh, i do feel like we're in good hands so i'm kind of happy to just go with the flow and take one appointment at a time and see where we go from there so i was going to sum up the week um the vlogs as you may have noticed uh, i mean i still haven't updated uh, like edited the, the week before i'm not really with it with the vlogging at the moment not because of this um uh, i've been feeling funny about youtube as a whole given the decisions they have taken lately um it has put me off i'm not gonna lie but i'm trying to remember why i want to vlog and it's to, to keep the small moment and all but i have to be honest at the moment i don't really feel like vlogging most of the days i don't know why it's just i just don't feel like it i feel like i sometimes i find myself reaching for the camera because i feel like i have to vlog over the f wanting to vlog and i don't want to force myself to do this because it's a hobby and it's something that does make me very happy but at the moment i just don't feel I don't know I just I just don't really want to do it I don't know why so I think what I will do is um, just pick up my camera whenever I feel like vlogging and compile those things but I will not commit to a schedule for the next few months because I don't think I can and I don't think I don't want to produce content for the sake of producing content and making it rubbish so yeah this was my big <laughs> chatty vlog which was not a weekly vlog at all it was like a two-day vlog with a big chat at the end but it's a pretty important one i did want to record this um i do want to record the process of going through all this with alfie because he doesn't realize at all what's going on right now but if he ever wants later on to see everything um i can you know can show it obviously I, i'm not going to account for the appointments and stuff like that and there are parts of this that i'm not happy to share on like to the world um i never really share 
the bad times with Alfie because I don't want it's I don't think it's okay um, unless I was ever doing a video where it's clearly to show what it's like it's not that I'm hiding the truth it's just that this is to record the small the little things in life and the numerous um, meltdowns and all are not the things I want to focus on so I decided not to do that anyway this is going to be the end of this vlog. It may have been long, I don't know. I have no idea what I filmed this week. But anyway, I will see you in the next one. As I said, I'm not going to promise anything about time scales, but um, whenever I feel like vlogging, I will. Um, next week, Sam is coming, and I'm very happy about that. It will be very nice. Um, and then it's getting closer to the time we go to France. So, yeah, that's exciting. I, I will definitely vlog France because. I do like to look back at that a lot so uh, but yeah I will see you in the next video bye